Welcome to Invictus Motors. Now, you may see on our website that we have quite a number of BMW Z4s in stock. Now, this one is actually quite special because this isn't just any old Z4. This is the Z4 M Coupe, which is one of the most rare BMW Z4s on, the, on sale today. Now, this car is a, is a successor to the BMW Z3 M Coupe, which, compared to this, had a much more unusual, quirky design. The Z3 M Coupe was informally known as the hearse or the clown shoe because it had a hatchback-esque rear end, whereas this has got a more fastback look with the rear window sloping down to give this nice sleek look. Now, these BMW Z3 M Coupes end up being extremely rare vehicles with only 1100 being sold. Now, these low numbers, I'm not sure why they were sold so poorly. Maybe it's because in quite a lot of markets, they never got the coupe version. They only ever got the convertibles and the convertibles didn't have the best reputation due to 1.9 eight valves saturating the market and they were quite slow and limp. Now, this 1100 figure for the Z3 M Coupe was absolutely shadowed by these, which the total production was a 4,275. Now, the best way of thinking of the Z3 M Coupe is that it's a BMW M3 E46 crammed into the body of a small little sports car. Now, this shares so much with the E46, the rear subframe, the limited slip differential, um, the brakes, Discs come from an M3 CSL and the calipers come from an M3 competition. It even shares the same 3.2 litre straight six engine. Now, sometimes when you get these cars with, with the hot car engine, you often find that they detune the engines. Not in this. This has exactly the same BHP and torque figures as an M3. So these are at by no means a slouch. Now, this car is finished in metallic Titan silver, which I'm not usually a big fan of silver cars, but it works really well on this. Now these are mated to this really nice set of 18 inch alloy wheels, which look absolutely stunning. And the way that the spokes are spaced out actually display the big brake discs and big brake calipers really well. Now this car also benefits from having rear parking sensors. And not only that, you also have your Xenon headlights complete with the uh, headlight washers. So you can see perfectly well on a dark day. Now, stepping inside the Z4, you have uh, this really nice black Nappa leather interior, which complements the silver and the black wheels really well. You also have this M Sport steering wheel, which is in this really nice smooth leather. It just melts in your hand, this steering wheel. It's really nice. You also have the, uh, the front fascia is, uh, is in carbon fiber. Now, what I like about this is, now I don't know if this is factory or not, but somebody has actually spent a lot of time and care with this because the carbon is actually, uh, you actually still got the stitching on there, which is a really nice little touch. Um, not only that, you've also got your satellite navigation system. You've got BMW Professional Audio, which is a big step up from the BMW Business Stereo, which, um, uh, yeah, not great. Um, you've also got heated seats. You've got a six-speed manual gearbox, which was standard on all Z4 M Coupes and Roadsters. You didn't get a choice by this. They weren't actually sold with a man automatic option, so you had to have a manual, which goes to show just how much of a serious driver's car this is. Now, the engine fitted in this is the 3.2 litre straight six as used in the BMW M3 E46. It was also used in the Weissman MF3, which is a, uh, an even more hardcore sports car, but that's a video for another day if we ever get one in stock. This car engine produces 338 bhp, 365 newton meters of torque. Not to 60 takes a mere five seconds. It weighs 1,395 kilograms, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's heavy, but I wouldn't say it's light either. It's sort of in a perfect balance, of, it's perfect balance and a nice happy medium. And it drives absolutely superb. The engine sounds spot on. It's just had a new exhaust fitted and it's, oh, it's this car is absolutely beautiful to drive. It's probably one of the nicest driver's cars I've ever had the pleasure of sitting, sitting in. Now, before this car came to us, it last service had been actually done at BMW, which is quite a surprise. Usually when a car gets to this sort of age, people start slacking on the service history and they won't service it at the main dealer. They'll only take, they'll only take it to meet you down the road. But this was last service at BMW and was actually really well looked after. It had done less than a thousand miles um, each year since its last service. Well, that worked, that's how it works out about average. So maybe a little bit more given the fact we had, we've had this year, year and a half long lockdown, but that's, that, that's, uh, that's something we'll never truly know the answer to. But what I will have to say is that the service history is pretty good. It's been serviced 
it has been serviced quite well. It has been serviced quite a lot at BMW and at Specialist. So you know that this car has been really well looked after. As always, we really appreciate it if you would like, comment, subscribe. Looking at the analytic data, 95% of the people that watch our videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you're watching this video and not subscribed, please do so you can watch our camera have a fit. As always, we'd really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, subscribe, but let us know what you think of the video. 95% of the people that are watching our videos aren't actually subscribed, so we'd really appreciate it if you're watching and you're not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of our next videos. And as always, we will see you in the next one.